Now, in the previous gnarly lesson time, we talked about raw reflections. Now, raw, there's another type of reflection to be aware of called aggregate reflections. Now, aggregate reflections are particularly useful when it comes to doing things like BI dashboards, because BI dashboards are oftentimes running queries that are basically doing things like group buys, counts, min, max, average, these types of queries. So typically the way you would accelerate these kind of things is you would do things like BI extracts and cubes. And the way BI extracts and cubes would work is you would one, once again, create another namespace. So you're creating another physical thing that has its own name that you have to refer to. But what they would be doing is basically pre-computing uh, aggregates. So you would pre-compute the mins, the maxes, the averages across different dimensions and have a table that, that does that and then use that to build your dashboard. Now this works, but there's a lot of maintenance involved. So one, you'd have to manually refresh these every periodically. So you have to recompute these aggregates. Okay. And oftentimes the old version would be something you'd keep. So you end up having these storage issues. Um, eventually they may get so big that you start having out of memory issues because, you, um, you know, the tools you're using don't know how to manage the size of those BI extracts and cubes. So there's a lot of, and then again, the end user has to know that this BI extract cube exists to take advantage of it. So there's more work on the data engineer and the data analyst. Now with aggregate reflections, we kind of eliminate a lot of this friction. So once again, you are materializing pre-computed aggregates, but again, you're doing it as an iceberg table. So you get the benefits of all the iceberg metadata um, that helps pre-compute some of those aggregates. Two, uh, Dremio will handle the refreshing logic to keep it in sync. Okay. Uh, three, you would just send, you would basically just make your BI dashboard on the original table. And then basically when the Dremio engine notices that you're sending aggregation queries over, it can then substitute the aggregate reflection to satisfy the query. So there's no need to know about another namespace. Okay, user just says, hey, I wanna use the voters table to create this BI dashboard and they would, can just do so. Okay, it makes it much easier. Okay, because again, Dremio is doing the swapping logic. So then basically this is like, this is huge burden taken off your analyst minds of having to know all these bajillion optimized versions of the same data set instead of just working with the data set and letting Dremio figure out which is the best physical representation to use for this particular query. Okay, and then these reflections are part and parcel of Dremio, so you're not going to have out-of-memory issues because Dremio knows how to work with these to avoid those kind of things. So again, you're just going to get a lot less headaches and still have those fast dashboards built directly on your data lake so you don't have to now move data over to a data warehouse and do um, you know, a bunch of modeling the data marts just to go deliver a BI dashboard. You can do it directly from your data lake um, because of this very powerful feature of reflections. So I'll see you all later on. Have a great one. Ciao.